Hi Toy Grubbers, welcome back to another iToys Toys Photography tutorial. Today we're going to do a cool effect in Adobe Photoshop, which is the Doctor Strange Magic Circle or Magic Shield or Mandela Effects or whatever that you want to call this effect. Now grab your action figure here, your Doctor Strange figure, take a photo of it and head to your Photoshop. Before we start, let's play the intro. Hey everyone, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click this bell icon to get a new notification every time I upload new video. And now let's start the tutorial. Okay guys, like usual, open your Adobe Photoshop and import the picture. Drag this magic circle effect. You can download it from the link in the description. Scale it down and place it near the hand. If you're done, just press enter. I will change the blending style or blending mode to screen to make the black background disappear. Right click on the layer and choose rasterize layer so you can edit it freely. Now I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Just try to make a little adjustment here by buffing the magic circle. Open levels by pressing Command L on Mac or Control L if you're using Windows. Slide the center point a bit to the right. You can see it will reduce some lights here. And then drag the right point a bit to the left. If you're done, just click OK. Now press Command U or Control U to open hue saturation. Drag the hue slider a bit to the left to change the color to orange. And if you want to make the color more vivid, just slide the saturation bar to the right. Now open color balance by pressing Command B or Control B. You will see a lot of uh, slider here. In midtones, I slide the first slider to the right and the third slider to the left. Mostly for this color balance part, I only drag the slider towards red and yellow color to make it look orange because it's the color from the movie. You can do a lot of experiment in here. Just drag all these sliders to get the color that you like. And now I think it looks good enough. Now click OK. Right click on this magic circle layer and select duplicate layer. Yeah, you can name it whatever you want and just click OK and drag it to the other hand. Now you can see here it's not really look realistic. Now press Command T to open free transform. And now right click on it and choose distort. And I'll try to drag all this point to make it looks better. Just imagine that the circle will stick to the other hand. So the direction will be different from the first one. I'm going to make this process a bit faster. By the way, for this part, you can use perspective or skew or distort. You can choose uh, whatever function that you like. While dragging all these points, make sure you don't change the shape of this magic circle. Now create new layer and make sure the foreground color is orange because I want to make a glowing effect for the magic circle. Select the brush tool and set the brush size depends on your need. I will choose the soft brush here and start brushing surrounding the magic circle. Change the blending style to screen to make it glow and reduce the opacity and fill a little bit. I will set the opacity around 40% maybe and the fill around 60%. Open hue saturation by pressing command U and slide this hue slider. I will slide it a little bit to the left to make it more orange and click OK. Now I'm going to brush this layer again with the orange color. 
Now select the brush tool, make sure the foreground is orange, but reduce the opacity up here so you don't overdo it. Select this magic circle layer and I'm gonna make a bit adjustment here. Open color balance by pressing Command B or Control B. So in midtones, highlights and shadows, drag the first slider towards the red color and click OK if you're done. Open free transform by pressing Command T. Hold Shift and drag the edge here to make the circle bigger since I feel it's a bit smaller compared to the other one. To make it more realistic, let's import some sparks picture. Just open your folder here and drag one of the sparks. I will drag this one. Okay, let's scale it down a little bit by holding Shift and drag it down. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and place it near the magic circle. Change the blending style to screen. So now the sparks looking good. Try to place it at the place that you think it looked best. Press enter to place the image and click OK. Right click on the layer and choose rasterize layer. Open levels again by pressing command L and try to slide the center and the right point. I move these sparks a little bit. Drag the sparks layer downwards and make a duplicate of it by pressing command J or right click and select duplicate layer. Then you can move the sparks to the other magic circle. Now I make the same adjustment with free transform here. Just press command T and just drag it all along the sides or the edge. Try to use the perspective distort or skew for this one. This one is optional. I will add a Gaussian blur effect for both of these sparks. Just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and set the radius to 2 pixel. And then click OK. Do the same thing with the other sparks layer. Now make sure you select the top layer. And then click this brightness contrast icon up here. Since my image is under exposure, I will slide the brightness to the right and slide the contrast a bit to the left. Now click this vibrance icon and drag the vibrance slider to the right to make the color pop out a little bit. Now click this color balance icon to set all these colors. Basically it will depend on your own preference, but here are my settings. For midtones, I drag the middle slider to the left towards the magenta color and drag the third slider to the yellow color. You can also see the written instruction that I provided here on the screen. And for the highlights, I want to make it look warm, so I slide the first slider to the right to make it more red and the third slider to the left. Lastly, for the shadows, I only drag the third slider a little bit to the left, so it looks more yellow. This last part is optional, I want to brighten the face of this figure, so I create new layer here, select the brush tool, change the foreground color to white, and start painting on the face with a normal brush. Then change the blending style to soft light. I will reduce the opacity. This is will be depends on your needs. Now I think it's done. I think it looks quite good now, the magic circle. Here are the before and after pictures. This is the before. And now this is the after edited in Photoshop. And this one is after I enhanced the color in Adobe Lightroom. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully this will help you with your toy photography work. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and leave a feedback or suggestion in the comment section below. See you in the next tutorial guys. Bye!